end scenario yeah we'll end it we'll check out the next one here training mission advanced construction we'll check it out science basics I don't know we're gonna check that out I don't know why this is now we have some sound here let's go right to the the building of the rockets and we'll see what we got here Last tutorial, we built a vessel that could escape the atmosphere, but didn't last long. This time around, we'll do some advanced stages. Notice there are a lot more parts available. That's because an orbital-capable craft is much more complex than a little puddle jumper. However, the main principle is the same, so I hope you remember what we taught you. If you mess up and say somehow to manage to delete your whole craft, you can control Z to undo it. Got it. Select the pod. Basic. We only have one pot available. <laughs> Add a chute, no problem. Utility, chute. Get in there, shift in there. All right, next up, adjust the chute parameters. Seven, five, altitude, we'll probably make that 2,000. Looks good to me. <laughs> now we're gonna construct an upper stage. We'll place it in the pod. RCS steering. Got, got, got. It's going to consist of a decoupler, fuel tank, liquid fuel tank, thrusters, solar panels. Holy smokes. First, we want to add a stack decoupler. Okay, so that's structural. There we go. Okay, there's our stack decoupler. Add an RCS. Tank RCS stands for re Reaction Control System. Add this in fuel and it'll help us with fine maneuvers. Go to Tanks. And R which one do they want? FL. R25 fuel tank. There it is. How many do we need? Just, just the one? Okay. Tweak RCS loading. Your craft is not going to need all the mono propellant of the tank so save some weight right click to get it down mono repellent propellants call that because we use large rocket engines to use two propellants and rcs uses single rcs is less efficient but good in small velocity changes so let's take that down to about 100 okay all right so as you press on here we add a tiny rocket fuel tank. Okay, so that's two different types. And add one medium. So a tiny and a medium. Okay? Lastly, for the main parts, we we're add the Terrier engine. It produces no thrust at sea level, but highly efficient in space. Okay? Okay. Added the Terrier. Show center of mass. It's pretty well assembled. Get into orbit, we got action. To make sure that your ship flies controllably, some parts need to be added to control the center of mass. Got it. The center of mass useful and important because it's a tool that we showed a da 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 da. Got it. Click on the COM indicator. Okay. That's good. We want the center of the mass to actually be the center. Let's adjust a few levels and order some tanks to see how it affects the center of mass. Okay. I got it. Makes sense. Um. Don't touch the mono propellant. Okay, so we just want to turn these down all to zero. Okay, should be good to go next here. Right click on the fuel tanks. We weren't supposed to touch that, were we? There we go. Okay, cool. Now go ahead and refill the tanks and we can proceed to some of the accessories. We need all the liquid fuel we can get. Cool. All right. Place the RCS thrusters. There's our thrusters. Science. Utility. Where the heck are thrusters? There we go. 
Um, RCS thrusters, where do we place them? Moving a spaceship without rotating is called translation, including docking to another craft. In order for translation with RCS to avoid unwanted rotation, you need to balance the thrusters. For two equal set of thrusters, each set should be equidistant, so why don't we use the X tool? And go, can we not do that on this? Excuse me? Oh, I guess we gotta turn off. Okay. Huh. Um, it sounds complicated. What makes this complicated is that the CUM changes during flight. So you need to place the thrusters at a compromise point between the wet and dry. Note that in the career mode, RCS thrust thrusters don't become available until later. Okay. See, I was on the right path, you scumbags. Let's turn on the angle snap to make aligning the thrusters easier. Do that by clicking on the toggle snap button. We need four thrusters. Where would you want to put them? Um, the tiny rocket propellant tank. Okay. One. Left shift to duplicate right now. Left alt to duplicate. Let me turn this down just a hair here. Uh, we'll just we'll just space ball it here a little bit. Why the heck not? Looks good to me. It's gonna be good. Awesome. Lots of things on the craft use elect electric charge. In order to keep the batteries topped up, you need a way of regening power. So we need some batteries. Our command pod has some batteries built into it, but to be safe, you can add some. You can also add solar panels. All right, so let's go to utility. Ooh, I'd rather go solar. Excuse me? We're gonna do both. Thank you. Where should we put these things? Uh, probably up here, right? We'll use the adjustings to adjust the panels. I like auto adjust, personally. Slap a couple of these bad boys on there. Four piece nug. Eh, two should be good, right? I will go four. Get all the energy. No demand. We'll go one more right here. Cool. Um, go ahead and place a set of four ZX 100s between the panels. One. Two. Three, four. I think we did something wrong. Um, grab the O sat and place it over the lower end of the fuel tanks. Okay. Hold it over the lower end, press A to rotate it 90 degrees. Huh, so they didn't like our placement. I don't I don't like what's up with that? I like their placement. Is this the Kerbal Space Simulator or the Kerbal we do it for you? Do we have to rotate these things? Like touch them? I guess we're learning how to rotate, which is helpful. There we go. Excellent work, you built a nice starter upper stage. Now we need to work on getting it up to orbit. We need to build a lower stage. In comparison, it's quite simple. Just a couple of tanks and an engine. We'll add some boosters too, cool. Add another decoupler, that makes sense. So we can dump it when necessary. Um, that is under the, not pods, structural. Okay, now we need to add the fuel tanks, add two medium tanks. 
What are medium? FL. Two mediums? This is a big boy, huh? Very cool. Okay. Look at this monster. That's a freaking huge. Okay. Next up, add a swivel engine. For a lower age, we need stage. We need an engine that is a sustainer. That's an engine that burns from liftoff. Let's get scientific for a second. Let's not. Let's just read what we're supposed to do. Add the big engine, LTV swivel. Okay. As for default thrust, the swivel is too powerful for the rocket we've created, so we need to lower its thrust level. This isn't as good a solution as picking a smaller, lighter engine. Right click the swivel and lower its thrust to 65. There we go. It will only produce 65% of its full thrust potential. It will also run longer because it's only burning 65% fuel. Okay, that makes sense to me. Hmm. Adding radial decouplers. Now you have the core of your rocket complete, but as I said before, we'll be adding boosters to help sustain engine get the rocket up and going. We'll add two boosters symmetrically. It's radial decouplers, okay? I'll take your word for it. All right, so it looks like we need to add some radial decouplers, a two-piece, which is pretty much structural radial decouplers. We got, we have the two-piece set in the lower left corner. Where do we want to add them, though? This time we'll use radial decouplers so the boosters can sit beside our lower stage. Uh, and near the bottom of the lowest tank on the lower stage, okay? I don't know why, but we'll roll with it. More boosters is something you hear. Now it's time to add some more. Add some RT-15 hammers. Ooh. If we had a pair, add a pair to the decouplers. Add them right on there, boys. There we go. Ooh. Well, that looks like a rocket. <laughs> Let's, uh, unlike liquid fuel, you can adjust the throttle. Right click on one of the SRBs and change its limit to 50. We don't want it. We want it to just launch, though. I wonder if we can just. It's so precise. Oops. What the freak? Control Z. Oops. Control Z. No. No. We lost our thrusters. How do we go forward? So you, what do we, we added two of these bad boys, right? Dun dun. Okay, we want, put those guys on. There we go. So now we want to adjust these, that's 50. That's, okay, cool. Or not, did we screw it up? I think we screwed it up. How did we screw it up is the question. M nose cones. Ooh. That looks interesting. Let's go to the next one. We need some add some fins. They come in various sizes and styles. They help to stabilize your craft. Add the winglets and 4X near the bottom of the lowest fuel tank. So let's go C again. Near the lowest fuel tank. Near the bottom of the lowest fuel tank. Is that a four piece? Doesn't look like a four piece to me. That's a two piece. That's a four piece. Huh. I guess we'll uh we'll slide in put one there. And then put another two there. That looks kind of ugh, but we'll go with it. Excellent, we got all the components. Let's run a few things before we call it a day. First, we should review the staging stack. Move the swivel staging icon to the same stage as the SRBs. Is that swivel? Swivel. Down to the same as the SRBs. Let's... Swivel, okay. SRBs. Uh, what the heck's an SRB? 
don't have an answer as to what the heck an SRB is. SRB. Swivel. No. I don't know, man. I'm just guessing on this. Um, we've highlighted it for you. First, you should view the staging. Move the swivel staging icon down into the same stage as the SRBs. What the heck is the SRBs? We have so many options we got here. Uh, all these must be the SRBs. Stable rocket boosters. Align for launch. Finally pick a pod and rotate it 90 degrees. Q or E. Do we already have a pod? And rotate it 90 degrees. This will not only rotate the ship. I don't, I don't get it. Pick up the pod and rotate it 90 degrees. Pick up the pod and rotate it 90 degrees. Mm, little bit different, kind of close. Um, but here we go. Set throttle to max. And we're out of here. Three, two, one. Go, please. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your throttle. Just need to pay attention to the target marker, okay? Steer a little. Steer a little bit. Hold on. Hang tight. Stay. Get in the pink. Get in the pink. Oh, turn on our sass. I'm not even reading the direction. I'm just going off of gut, gut instinct here. <laughs> oh, hold on. All right, we need to go down, down, to the right. Hang in there. I'm trying to get to the, the pink target. <laughs> get to the pink. Hang on, it's not getting us to the pink. That's all right. Hang tight. Valentine is happy though. We're off our mark. We're off our mark. There we go. Got to spin it. Hang in there. We're a little bit off. How would we retrograde? Maybe our thrust station's off a little bit. I don't know. Get in there. Up. <laughs> All right, at least, at least go straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Is it gonna tell us when to, to launch our next thing? I don't think so. We've recovered decently though. Uh-oh. Look at our fins are about to break off. How do we know if we're in orbit? We're way off the mark, boys. Get on the mark. Hold on. Spin. Pull up. Oh, we want to go the other. It's it's hard to go. This is the way we, we need to continue to go north. Ditch it. I think we missed our mark. <laughs> Wait a second. We're back in this. Wait, why are we going down? Wait, we're sinking? No. Oh. <laughs> this was a failure. How do we redo this?
prepare the launch. Here we go. Let's see what we're made of. All right, so we're gonna pitch down, but also turn our on our stabilization here. Once it gets a little wild, stabilization on. We're fine. Excellent. Let's pitch a little bit down. Sass is on. Excellent. Look at that. Right on target. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, do a little spin. Just spin and down a little bit. Stay on. Excellent. Okay, we're almost there. Wait till our fuel's gone. Get ready to rip skins. Space now. Now we really gotta watch our target here. Slight, slight spin. Stay in there, stay in there. Oh, we're in this. This is our run. This is the run, boys. No, 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 don't lose it. Hang tight. Nice. Orbit's looking good. Orbit's looking great. Let up a little bit on the S. We could come down a little bit. There we go, just a little bit. Stay on target. Excellent. Do a little spin. Let's get a little fancy here. Nice. Hit space. Stage again to ignite the upper echelon. You survived the first phase of the launch. Switch to map mode so we can look at our trajectory. I just don't want to lose our deal. All right, let's look at our trajectory here. Where are we? We're on point right now. I'll keep altitude and apoptosis display so you can track your progress. Press keypad, period. Okay, so we're in good shape here. Cut the engines once apoptosis hits 80,000. I'll cut it for you once it passes 81. We're in this. We got a shot. I want to go not map mode here, though. Oh, but you can't see. Okay, there we go. So we're back in this. What the heck? I didn't do that. How did that happen? Apollo 13, boys, we're in this. <laughs> I'm, I, as long as they guide us, I'm... Oh, we're going for it. As long as they guide us, I, I'm, I think we'll be all right in this game. But if, if we had to design this and figure out how to design this, we'd have some serious problems. Look at this thing, though. It's a thing of beauty. Our apoptosis is good. Apalpis. It's a thing of beauty. Hang in there. So we're at 60,000 approaching. Oop, our target's a little bit off here. On track. Let's take a, take a look at our our deal here. We're getting closer. Uh oh, what happened to our engines? That's going to get us there. We've made sure the engines are off now, and we we'll coast till we clear the seventy thousand meters. You may notice your speed drop as we coast. This is nothing to be concerned about. Does gravity try to bring us down? Meanwhile, keep your altitude display open. All right, so. Apoptosis is 80. We're trying to get to orbit, huh? Curve of one. What the heck? What are we doing right now? Hang in there. Okay, so what's the next stage for us? Atmosphere is good. We need to clear the 70,000 altitude. Okay, so that's the next the next stop. Okay. And this is I can't believe someone designed this game. It's pretty pretty serious. Like some, some rocket science life. What's that? Florida. Just joking, that's not Florida. All right, so we're getting there at 60 almost 68,000 meters. <laughs> we'll have a shot at this. A legit shot. At making some magic happen. Alright, what happens at 70 now? 
Okay, hit next. Now we're clear of the atmosphere. We can warp ahead to enough time to get apoptosis quickly. Press next when you're ready. We'll warp till this time. It's our next burn. Oh, cool. Hey. We're almost there. All we need to do is accelerate some more. Rotate your craft and align it with the prop gate marker. Or use SAS. We need to get blue. Or pink. I don't know which one's a prop gate marker. We're gonna find out though here quickly. Hang in there. I'm gonna guess that's a prop gate marker. Okay, we're almost there. Accelerate more. We turn our throttle up. Okay. Hang in there. Establish burn. Should we cut the burn? We're almost there. We just need to accelerate past some more. We're in this. It's basically what orbit is. Falling and missing. Gravity will be pulling us towards the center. We'll be traveling so fast that we miss. Rotate your... Oops, we're way out of it. Oh, hang in there. We missed our mark there a little bit. Okay. Back on the mark. She's still happy. I think we got this. Should we go warp here a little bit? Now throttle up. I'll cut your engine once you've completed the burn. Oops. Oh. Hang in there. See some thrustage. Nice and easy. Right. Got it. Throttle up. I'll cut your engine. Throttle's been up for a minute. Cut your engine once you've completed. Or you can for yourself once you're... We're in a stable orbit. Uh-oh. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Ripskins? There's the, there's the death of a Kerbal. I don't... Can we go back? We can't go back. No! <laughs> no. What happens if we go? No. I think that's ripped for us. EVA out. Well, I think this is going to be the end of the tutorial series. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. I'll see you guys next time.